Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to calculate business days in Power Apps, excluding weekends and public holidays. Now, before we jump into the implementation, let me show you an example. Here, I created a employee leave request form that allows employees to submit their leave request. We are calculating the number of business days, skipping the weekends and holidays. So, it's easy to see how many actual working days they will be off. Here, you see this employee leave request form includes start date, end date and holidays half day and um, this leave days field will show the number of uh, business days for example here i am selecting the start date from 17 and you can see the weekends is 19 and 20 i will take the end date is 21 so if i take this one it will take um, only three days you can see uh, it needs to skip this 19 and 20 now you can see number of leave days is three for example if i am opening this half day you can see half day that will include 3.5 for example if i take um, start date and the end date is same date and this half date is yes then it will take a 0.5 only so this way we can calculate during the implementation i will also explain how to exclude public holidays also while calculating this business days now let me introduce myself i am harita working as a power platform consultant if you are new to my channel please subscribe for more tutorials on power apps now let's get into the implementation here i have a sharepoint list named employee leave request which is storing all the details from the employee leave request form in the power apps and i have another sharepoint list named public holidays it is having the fields like holiday name and holiday date now connect these two sharepoint list to the power apps application and then here i already added edit form control connect this edit form with the employee leave request sharepoint list to calculate the business days excluding weekends i have already written the code in the notepad copy this one and paste on the leave days data card values default property and here you can see in this code we are calculating the total number of business days between the two selected dates in the power apps and we are excluding the weekends and we are also including the half day and here in this code this data card value end date is the end date data card value name and this data card value start date is the start date data card value name and here you can see for the half day this data card value half day is the half day data card value name in this code i am using the with function to create a temporary variable variable named where date range which stores the list of dates between the start and end date and here the power app sequence function will generate a table with the numbers from 1 to the number difference between the end date and start date as you can see in the example here the start date is 17 and end date is 24 so between the 17 and 24 we have only 8 days are there so this um, sequence function will generate those numbers in a table format when i click on this one here you can able to see that numbers from 1 to 8 is there and the power apps for all function this for all function will produce a table with the dates from start date to the end date so when i click on this one you can see it is generating that uh, dates from start date to end date after this this if condition is checking whether the start date or end date is missing so if either is blank it returns zero indicating no business days can be calculated for example here i am resetting this start date end date the leave days it is showing as a zero and if the and if the start date and the end date uh, value is same and at the same time if we selected the half day then it will return 0 0.5 let's check it once here I am selecting 17 and here also I am selecting the same date. When I am selecting this half day, it is displaying 0 0.5 which means it is considering as a half day. This is the code for calculating the business days. And here I am using the power apps weekday function and this function will um, calculate the weekday of the provided date. So in this filter function, I am taking the where date range which consisting of the number of dates between the start and the end dates. So when I click on this one, here you can see it is containing all the dates between the start and the end dates. So this weekday, it is taking the each value from this where date range. And here we are using the in function. We are checking like the each date present in the where date range is present in a given 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers. So here 1 and 7 are the weekends and remaining 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are the business days which is a working days. 
so here we are checking the each date is present in the provided dates or not so this filter function will filters only the dates which are the working days here the count rows function will return the number of records in the filter function to add half day when the toggle is on we are using this code when the data card value is true then it will consider as 0.5 otherwise 0 so in this way we can calculate the business days between the start date and the end date excluding weekends let's see one example here i am selecting 16 start date and end date we will consider 23 only and here we have 19 and 20 are the weekdays so from 16 to 23 we have the business days is 6 days and here we are uh, toggled on this half day when so that's why it is showing 6.5 when we toggled it off it will consider as a 6 days only so in this way we can calculate the business days between the start and day, end dates and also we can include this half day by excluding the weekends now let me show you how to exclude the public holidays along with uh, weekends for this one as i said before uh, public holidays list is important so we will uh, take the values from this uh, sharepoint list and you no need to worry about the code in the description box below i have provided the link and here you can see i just simply added this one so uh, before adding this code connect the public holiday sharepoint list with this power apps application and here you can see i just added another one more variable in this with function and uh, here i am consider only the holiday date so in the sharepoint list I am taking this one so when I click on this one it is showing me a table here you can see all the holiday dates it is storing in this variable now this where public holidays variable we are using um, in the while calculating the business days and here you can see the count rows function is calculating the uh, weekends uh, and here only we are while filtering only we are using this condition the value is nothing but the date that is present in this uh, where date range so this where date range uh, is containing the dates between the start and the end dates so so this filter function is filtering the dates uh, by excluding the weekdays and and also the public holidays and this count rows is returning the number of records present in this filter function so that's it and remaining code is same so i hope you understand how to calculate business days excluding weekends and public holidays now check it once and here you can see i will consider these three dates from october 2nd to october 13 so i am providing the start date october 1st to october 15 okay so first we will see here basically it need uh, it needs to exclude the weekends right so at that time it needs to exclude 1 5 12 and 6 13 so remaining values are so it needs to consider uh, 11 days from 1 to 15 while excluding this um, 6 13 and uh, 5 12 which are the weekdays and here uh, so it needs to give 11 days right but it is giving 9 days that is because in the sharepoint list you can see on the october 2nd october 11 and october 13 we also have the public holidays so from the 11 it is removing that uh, three but here the october 13 uh, which is a public holiday that is comes in week weekends only so it is not considering so that's why we are getting the nine days so and even if i am toggling on that time also it is considering the half day i hope you understand how to calculate business days uh, by excluding weekends and public holidays holidays and also here i explained how to include the half day thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe our channel